Well, June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. The subtle changes in our memory can be a normal sign of aging, of course, as well. Now, that being said, some forgetfulness may signal it's time to visit the doctor. For Positively 50 Plus, here's how to tell the difference. Okay, Joy, here's your Cheerios. For Steve Jeffs, this day feels a lot like the day before and the one before that. That's her favorite things for, for breakfast. There's really nothing she can do by herself. Steve's wife, Joy, his partner of 57 years, has severe dementia. Most of the time she has no idea, you know, where she is or what's going on. And In their home in North Ogden, sweet memories abound. Because she was an avid reader, and she would read two or three books a week. As time went on, she was able to do fewer and fewer things. Over the years, the couple have traveled to 70 different countries together. I was keeping track of them on a world map. Still, nothing slows down Steve's commitment, devotion, and love. Seemed like to me it started in 2015. That was on a cruise ship in Alaska. What had before seemed like normal signs of aging suddenly were very troublesome. So struggling for a name of a person that you haven't seen for a long time, that's very normal. But when we start to struggle for names of people that we see on a more regular basis, then that can be more of a sign of concern. Neuropsychologist Kevin Duff says families should learn to recognize common examples of forgetfulness or minor memory loss. But there are definitely more serious signs. The person who's regularly forgetting, say, to take their heart medication and that's starting to negatively affect their health, that's much more of a sign for concern. Is cognitive decline starting to interfere with daily functioning? That's what doctors are looking for when diagnosing Alzheimer's then they may make a diagnosis that there's a problem here, like mild cognitive impairment or even uh, dementia or Alzheimer's disease, and then may prescribe some type of intervention to try to slow down the progression of those difficulties. If you're concerned about a loved one, see your primary care physician. Doctors can do cognitive testing and look for other factors, including depression. She doesn't know her own name. And every night when I put her to bed, I give her a kiss and, and say her name and uh, tell her I love her. An eternal optimist, Steve admits he mostly needs more time for himself and encourages people to show support for friends and caregivers who just need someone to talk to. The best thing for me was the neighbors and the friends helping me, talking to me. What a sweet... Wow. What a sweet man. What yeah. a sweet couple. A commitment there between uh, those two. Doctors mm -hmm. say brain health is a long, lifelong uh, commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, they stress physical exercise, cognitive stimulation, and social engagement, too. Well, for more information on activities and events for seniors, visit AARP Utah's website.